Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and in this candle making tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own color changing candles. My idea for this tutorial was I wanted to do a candle that just looked like a completely normal um, soy container wax candle, nothing special about it, but as you melt it, the wax changes colors. So I have two different ways that I'm going to be doing this today. I'm going to be showing you they're pretty similar, but just a slightly different technique for each one. Um, and as the candle melts, it should start to change color. And no, you don't need like any special wax. We're just using like your stock standard soy container wax we're just kind of doing a slightly different technique than what you would do if you were just pouring a traditional soya candle so you're gonna need um, your container jars you're gonna need some soya wax you're gonna obviously need some candle color um, and you can use mica um, your candle tint dyes I'm also using a little bit of bio glitter in this um, and bio glitter is great to use in candles because it's not plastic based so definitely no plastic based glitter um, but I'm really excited about this idea and you can use whatever colors you like and I feel like you could also transfer this technique into doing like just your stock standard pillar candles but today we're going to be doing it in the container um, I feel like I've rambled on for enough that we should get into the that into the uh, words into the tutorial <laughs> While my soy container wax is melting down, I'm just going to set up my container. So I've just got a glass vessel here and I'm using a cotton braided wick as well as a cardboard toilet paper roll. So you're definitely going to need one of those for this first technique. And then I'm just using a wick sticker to secure my wick into place. And I'm just going to be placing that into the center. If you do have a large jar and you find it kind of hard to get the wicks into the center, you can always use a straw and then turn your jar upside down. I find and that really helps um, if you do find that a little bit hard. Then I'm just going to be placing a tiny bit of soy wax down at the bottom of my jar and then I'm going to wait for that to just start to set slightly. So not fully set but just a little bit more than liquid, just a bit soft and then I'm going to place in my toilet paper roll and then fill up the rest of my jar with my wax all the way around my toilet paper roll. Once that is fully set, I then just pull out the toilet paper roll and that leaves me with an empty gap down the center of my wick where I can then place my colored wax. For my colored wax, I'm just mixing in some candle safe mica in a purple as well as some purple liquid tint. I want my colored wax to be quite strong so that way as it melts it will color the rest of the wax. And then I'm also going to be adding in some bio glitter. With this particular technique, it's really important to get the temperature of your wax correct before you do pour it. If you pour your wax too hot when you are pouring it around the cardboard roll, you might find that it will be too hot and melt through the roll. So for mine, I waited till it got down to 65 degrees before I did pour it with my cardboard roll. And then when I do my center pour, I waited for the same temperature. I don't wanna pour it too hot because I don't wanna have my soy wax that's already there to start to melt when I do place my purple wax inside. Once that wax is set, all you need to do then is just pour another thin layer over the top to cover the colored wax. For the next candle, we're pretty much doing the same technique, but we're just reversing it. So instead of pouring your normal soy wax first and then adding your colored wax, we're adding our colored wax in first and then pouring our normal colored soy wax on top. So I've just made an inlay that I'm adding in and it's a pink and purple one. And I've just used a plastic pillar mold. You just wanna make sure that it's smaller than obviously the size of your container. And then I've added that into the wick and then just poured my uncolored soy wax on top. Once you've done that, wait a few days and then they'll be fine to burn. So these worked out amazingly well. You can see here in the little time lapse that they look like completely normal candles, but as they melt, they change color. Let me know your thoughts below on the different techniques. Which one would you prefer to use? I honestly like both and they both achieved a really great result. I do especially like adding that little bit of shimmer, um, a bit of that mica powder and a little bit of that bio glitter. I think it makes it even like a little bit more special as it changes colors. And obviously you could do more than just one or two colors. You could do it multi-layered going down and have it can change completely different colors as it melted. And if you didn't want, um, 
your different colors to bleed into each other and create like other colors you could always do a layer of just stock standard normal wax to burn through that to then change to the next color if that makes sense so you could do pink normal wax purple normal wax blue um, instead of just pink purple blue because obviously as it burns down and the wax changes to pink then it goes and changes to purple so you're going to get a little bit of colors blending into that and as it goes from pink pinky purple it will go down into blue so if you don't want that to happen definitely do um, little like clear layers of not clear layers I'm um, just stock standard like layers of un colored soy wax in between for this technique but I find it really cool I like both of them and it's just kind of like personal preference on which technique that you want to use but if you liked this video and you found it helpful please give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel out if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing as I post new videos every single week and I have a really big playlist of candle making tutorials um, so thank you guys so much for watching